Hey everyone, uh, today I wanted to show off my League of Legends data visualization app that I did in Unity. Um, it was working properly for a while and then I believe Riot updated their API. Um, so I kind of shelved this for now. I also discovered some other things that I wasn't doing uh, super correct. So uh, if, if and when I do publish it again, um, I'll try to make it so that it's it's proper. We'll see if it's uh, a thing I'll do in the next month or so. But currently, I just want to show this off in a video so that I could actually put it up on my website instead of just having a blank post uh, describing something that you actually can't view. <laughs> so what this is is an attempt at visualizing data uh, for League of Legends players in ways that the current websites don't really take advantage of. Um, some more of them, I believe, like League of Graphs, have branched out towards using graphs more, but most of those, I think, I believe they're, they're like pie, pie charts plus like bar graphs. And Riot gives you so much uh, in the way of like images and just their characters are so, there's like so much emotion already into these icons that I feel like you can take advantage of these. Um, how I currently have this project set up, there's so much more that I could do with it, but this was just like a one-off um, maybe I'll work on it more in the future or if I get more feedback, but currently this is just a, a neat way of viewing stats. So I'm going to jump on into it and type in a few pro players uh, tags. So this is double lift. <laughs> and he's a pretty good one to start off with because of his anomaly that is Caitlyn. Um, so what this is showing right now is games played, total games played for this season's uh, ranked League of Legends play. He is the most played um, on Caitlyn, and I'm pretty sure this is the tag he used when he was taking a break from pro play. So tons of Caitlyn games, tons of Varus. Vayne coming in third, did not expect that. And then, as you can see, he was kind of goofing off. So he's got a bunch of games played on junglers. And way down here, you can see he's got a bunch of one ofs, um, which it's interesting to like zoom in and see what's going on down here and then pull back out and just recognize how insane 120 games of Caitlyn is compared to these other champs. Um, I only have three different uh, views. Let's switch on over to win rate. And win rate is cold by at least five games. So that's why all the one of just sort of disappeared. Um, you can see on most of his eight carries, he's got around 60%, which you would think is proper. And then on his jungler is uh, not so... Not so much. <laughs> and then I have KD, uh, which it's not KDA, so the number is different. I wanted it to be KDA, I think, at the time, but this one's less of, uh, it's less important than the other two, just visually, because a lot of the KDA, uh, most KDAs on champions will be like around the same for pros. If you do see an anomaly on this view, though, that's when you're kind of like, oh shit, this guy's like a master at one of these champions. But double lift is just like solid around, uh, around the board. So back to games played. I'll bring up Aphron though, because he's actually very similar to double lift in that he has one champion that blows his others out of the water, and it is Bard. <laughs> so once again, you get these sort of like three main champions. Uh, I don't know if that's the meta or if that's like the meta of solo queue in NA. Uh, and then you can like zoom in and check out what he's been doing elsewhere. He's got a few games of Kaelin, a few games of Vayne, so sometimes he plays AD carry, and then he's got a bunch of one-offs. <clears throat> Win rate, surprisingly, Blitzcrank is the highest. KDA. Alright, let's jump over to who's the last one I wanted to do? Oh, Bjergsen. So I believe this is Bjergsen's current tag. I don't know what that means, or if that's even a thing. And this is his, the account he's been using for practicing for MSI, I believe. Um, and you can see here he's got most games played on Talon, which I don't watch Bjergsen, but that surprises me. Um, second most on Ari. Then way in here, you got one Aurelian Soul game. Not sure why. One Malzahar game. His win rate is insane on some of these champs. Um, much higher than the AD carry slash support. 
uh, that we just looked at. And Ari is also one of his highest played. So 17 games played, 82% win rate. Kind of ridiculous. And then his KDA is actually much higher as well. So another thing that I wish I could do, which I didn't program in, is being able to compare where you type in two pros names and then both of their uh, pieces of data pops up. For now, uh, this is basically it. Uh, it's just like a cool new way of, might not be new, I'm not like well versed in all of the different league websites, um, but a cool way of viewing data. Um, and I hope that it moves towards this. And I feel like you could actually do something like this in the, uh, what's it called? In Riot's actual application. It's not the launcher, but uh, wherever you launch your games from, they just updated it and they're they're working towards making it better. But I feel like some of the stats where all they have is just like bar graphs and shit like that, uh, you could do some really cool uh, stuff with just visualizing the characters and making it more character centric instead of just like bar graph stats, uh, numbers, etc. So yeah, I hope you guys liked it. Um, I don't know if I will finish this up in the future or what, but currently this is where it stands, and uh, yeah, check out some of my other stuff if you want. Uh, see you guys next time.